So you wrote in about what a lot of people face is needing an outdoor living space. Yeah, we have a big family and there's always 20 to 30 adults on our little deck there. So we'd love to have some more entertaining space. So let's take a look over here because sometimes it's hard to visualize from paper to what actually happens in the ground. Um, this is a footprint of 18 by 18. What do you think? Does that space feel adequate? Yeah, it nice. looks great. All right, so next what we want to do is check out materials. So here's a picture of some concrete pavers. And a lot of people tend to use these. They are affordable. But I know, Courtney, that you like to have more of a traditional. Yeah, our home was built in 1900, so we'd love something that kind of went with the, the style of the house. So I really think using natural stone is really going to benefit nice. what you want for the vibe of this outdoor entertainment mm -hmm. area. So here is bluestone. And I think this will work perfectly here. Love it. OK. Yeah, it looks good. Great. And then as a feature, something to draw you onto the patio, a reason to come down to this other outdoor entertainment space. I think a fire pit in the center of the patio will do that for you. Love it. Nice. All right, let's get started then. OK. All right. All right. We've excavated down a foot to the subsoil, and we're going to run a plate compactor to make sure it's a nice, solid surface. We're going to install a mixture of stone dust and three-quarter inch stone as the base of our patio. You guys rake it out, and I'll follow behind you with a compactor. I'll compact it every two to three inches until we get our grade. Okay, so the base is in, and the base is the same for the fire pit as well as the patio. Uh, take a look at this reclaimed granite that we found for Where's the pit. Where's it from? Oh, it's so cool. This is from an old jail from a couple towns away. Has many irregularities. It's very has very, so much character, mm. but the length of it is a little bit too long for the pit. So we're gonna cut it. We're going to drill holes three inches deep, about three to four inches apart on three sides. OK, so into the holes, we are going to apply the, these are the feathers, and this is the wedge. And you're going to insert the wedge into the feathers, and it will push it apart. You're going to apply even pressure on all these wedges, and then the feathers will push open. Well, that's awesome, huh? All the way through the other side. What do you think? Should we try? Yeah, why not? All right. Should we pull these out first? Just the top ones. Here you go. You got it? Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at these holes. Look that at these so cool. ridges. That's great. All right, we have three more pieces to cut just like that, and we'll move it in with the excavator. All right. So the fire pit is in. Looks what do so you think? Good. Oh, Love it. It's great, yeah. So we put crushed stone in the middle. That's going to help with drainage, and it's nice and level in there. Next, we have patio. We've already put down two to three inches of stone dust, it's been compacted. OK, so this is the stone we're using. This is the blue stone. It's got a nice thermal treated top. It's called thermal blue stone. They're more evenly cut, more uniform pieces, so it'll be easier to lay. Really nice. So we're going to lift the stone over here. And then you get that side. We're going to line it up to that orange dot. All right. OK. Perfect. Now let's check if it's level, and then we'll bang it down a few bit. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit high on this side, so I'm going to. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. Looks level to me. Let's move on to the next stone. Sounds good. Look at that. 
professional. That's Let's great. go get some more stone. All right, sounds good. All right. Fingers? Yep. You can do the ear sign. Okay, so we're almost there. What do you guys think? Love it. So awesome. Yeah, so good. Better well, than we could have imagined. Well, I'm very happy for that, but we have to do one more step. We need to fill in these joints. And what we typically do nowadays is use polymeric sand to fill in the joints. It solidifies the joints and also deters weeds. But we're going to do it the old fashioned way with stone dust because we've had a few storms here and uh, the polymeric sand is water activated, so I don't want it to stick. What we're going to do is sweep the stone dust into the joints and let it settle over the winter. And then come spring, we'll come back and we're going to put poly sand down and then it'll look brand new. All right, great. All right. Good. So what do you guys think? Love it. Uh, so look, excited. Looks unbelievable. I don't think everyone's going to be crammed up on the deck anymore. No, definitely no, everyone's not. Everyone's going to be down here. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoy it. It's been really fun working with you guys. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without you.